Guys, this is the craziest fucking thing, but I got back my Ancestry.com DNA profile last week, and it turns out I've been living a lie my entire life. I had no idea. My whole life, I've told everyone, well, I've told myself, more importantly, that I'm 100% Colombian. I was born in Bogota, Colombia. I just assumed my mother was 100% Colombian, my father was 100% Colombian. But I was wrong. Apparently. <laughs> Sorry, I still can't even like process it all. I even have Bogota tattooed on my chest or something that looks like Bogota with like the Colombian flag in it. This was a bad mistake I made when I was 17 years old and I never got it <laughs> covered up. Uh, I look at it now and it kind of reminds me how impetuous I can be sometimes. But um, anyway, the exact results are I am 45% native South American, so that's the Colombian, Amazonian to be exact, and that's the Colombian part of me. But I'm also 25% British, like, like, he hello, I'm British, like, wait, what? Like, I'm British? Like, I had no idea. And I'm 13% or uh, 10 or 13% Spanish, uh, Iberian Peninsula from like Spain, and about 10% Italian Greek, uh, or uh, I guess the region, or, or, or Italians were occupied Greece for a while. I don't even know the whole history, but you can be sure as hell certain I'm gonna look into it now because that's now my history. My mind has been blown. I was adopted as a baby from Bogota, Colombia, and raised in the suburbs of New York, Jewish actually, by white Jewish people parents, so I've always called myself a Jewlumbian. Actually, this is my Colombian passport from when I was born. It says Republica de Colombia, Colombia. And I mean, look, that was my baby picture when I came from Colombia. Do you see that? Does that look like me? <laughs> Hello? Do you see the resemblance? <laughs> and actually, the name on here, I don't know if you can see it, but the name on here is David Beltran. That was my birth name was David Beltran. I remember when I was in fourth grade, I had to do a book report on school on something that made me special. And I said, oh, I know, I'm adopted. That makes me real special. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna talk to my mother and ask her everything about my adoption. And I went home and I was like, mom, I gotta do this report on why I'm special. Tell me everything. And she, about my adoption. And she was like, you were born in Bogota, Colombia. Your birth name was David Beltran. And I remember even at a young age being like, David, that's not very Spanish sounding at all. There's like four or five kids in my class named David. And she was like, well, what do you want? That was your name. So I remember thinking that wasn't special enough. It didn't make me sound Spanish sounding enough. So I went to school the next day to do the report. And I said, here's what makes me special. I was born in Bogota, Colombia. My birth name was Pedro Garcia, and I just made up this fake Spanish sounding name and said my name was Pedro Garcia, so it made me sound Spanish enough. And I don't even think that's a Colombian name. That's like a, a, a Mexican name. And I've later come to find out that David is actually a really common Colombian name, but who knows, maybe David is David's also a common British name. Maybe that was the British part of me. My mother, apparently, had sex with a European, and now here I am. Uh, I like European boys too, so my mother, my birth mother and I, apparently have a lot in common. So I think, needless to say, I've been pretty confused most of my life and didn't really have the answers and was just kind of making things up and saying them as I went without any real clue whatsoever. I have been pleasantly surprised with the results and it's just been really really nice to I guess finally start to discover who I really am. I'm going to Colombia this year for the first time back to Bogota and I'm also going to see Cartagena for the first time since I was born. You know when I left a long time ago I was David Beltran and now I'm going back Glenn Payne and I'm really excited to discover more about my roots and where I came from and my ancestry and I mean who knows what else I'm going to find out. I guess what I want to say is that if you're still questioning or if you think you know who you are but you aren't really certain, you sort of say it all the time but you still are kind of wondering, 
check it out and find out. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to see what you learn as well. I mean, I know I was. So anyway, that's my story. Thanks for listening. Bye.